In this activity, we're going to have a Dubot magician talk to a VEX Cortex to perform a grinding operation. Here's an overview of what's supposed to happen. What you're supposed to do is use this VEX limit switch to start the program. Once you press the VEX limit switch, that'll tell the robot to go pick up a part, bring it over to the VEX grinder, and the robot will tell the Cortex to turn the grinder on. Uh, the grinder will come on, the robot will do a grinding operation. When it's all done, the grinder will shut off and the robot will put the part back down on the pallet. Let's see how the Dubot Studio program works. We've named all the positions. It's going to go home, it's going to go above the pick position, to the pick position, back above, back to the home position. It's going to do this grinding operation, which is really four, five steps. And then it's going to go home again, above the pick, back to the pick place where it's going to drop it off. And you'll see there's a half second pause time there so that the suction can stop. And then it's going to go back home. Over on the other side, we've set up uh, input output number 13, which is on the back of the robot. Make, make sure you follow the directions to wire that correctly. Uh, we're going to tell that to go high when it gets to the grinder on step number 7. That way it sends a signal to the VEX cortex, and then the VEX cortex is going to see that signal and then turn the grinder on. Notice that it's only on for a split second, not even a second, less than a second, because on this step it's high, as soon as it goes to the next step it's low, and that resets it so that it's ready to go for the next grinding operation. Now when we look at the Robot C program, it's really pretty simple too, it's pretty straightforward. So in Robot C, we set up the motor on port 2, um, digital port 6 is the robot input, and we're going to wait for two, two seconds, and then forever we're going to wait for that switch to get hit. Once the limit switch is hit, it's going to start the program, turn the grinder on for five seconds, and then turn the grinder off, and then go back and wait for that switch to get hit again by the operator. And so those are the two parts that, that make this work. Um, let's give it a try and see. I hit the start button, and you notice it goes to the first home position. That makes sure the robot's home to start the whole thing. Now it's sitting here and it's waiting for EI05 to go high. When you hit the limit switch, which is on EI05, it's plugged in to the arm on the top of the arm up here. When you hit that limit switch and it goes to 1, it's going to start the rest of the program. Let's try it and see what happens. Grinder is very simply a motor with that black piece on the end of it on an axle. Don't forget you have to have the motor controller and then that gets wired into your Cortex. That's the handshake module. You can use an optical isolator to make that happen and you can download this pallet if you want to. 